Hello there, I'm Adra Hill and welcome back to some EU4 playing Byzantium. We just finished a war with the Commonwealth and I made a rookie mistake thinking I could get Lithuania from Yedisem, but I forgot that many decades ago they changed it, that you had to have a core of their base culture. In other words, to release Lithuania, you need a Lithuanian culture, not Ruthanian. So I will potentially need to take seven provinces in the next war to be able to release them all as to Lith into Lithuania. Uh, and then from there, I will be able to churn all the way through that. My hope is that I'll also be able to take at least a couple provinces, because there's still quite a lot of Poland to eat. I think I might need to start feeding onto Valachia, because at this point I am quite overwhelmingly over my limits, considering the vassal I have. In fact, maybe I should just try to go for Valachia right now. It's going to cost me 1,339 Diplo. <laughs> oh, that's so much. Uh, so let's 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 improve relations with them then. Oh dear god, that's a lot. Uh, and we're also going to start uh, getting claim. We already have claims, but, you know, building up stuff onto the Mamluks. Because the next war after Tunis is going to be against Ramazan and the Mamluks to take the rest of Ramazan and then the rest of what I need for the mission on the Mamluks. From there, I will move on to QQ so as to chain truces, take all that territory to get my next mission, and then onwards from that to get my next stuff. Uh, it's all, you know, it's all part and parcel. It takes a little while, but it works out. Turn that off and turn that one on. There we go. I'm obviously now, I'm now in a position of needing to literally endlessly chain these. So I do need to be quite careful. Oi. Where are you going? I'm going to chase you down, buddy. It looks like Morocco has literally no soldiers. Um... 2, 17, 27, 36,000. So half their army is just here. Got them. And we've got those sieges too, which is nice. I don't really want to risk it too much by going too far. There we go. Obviously we didn't stack wipe them, but that's all right. I do look like they in countries instead of territories. Not a terrible idea, but the over the overextension is sometimes a bit unpleasant. Denmark counts for you to support the new monarch. Eh, doesn't really affect too much. Again, we're just basically just kind of chasing down what le what little, little troops they have left. And with our galleys, we're just going to go and blockade the rest of them. And we're going to head over there. Being careful not to be destroyed. <laughs> Uh, Parliament debates. No new debate just yet. So, there are only nine seats. And there's the debate. I knew it. Oh my god. How did I know that would happen at the exact second? Okay, Diplomats of Spy Network Construction. Bo's getting 20 loyalty. Say the recovery. No. Culture conversion cost. Not really. Uh, just take the loyalty for the Burrs, I suppose, then. Lose tradition, lose authority, lose admin. I like just churning through it, to be honest. Corruption. God, who cares? All right, cool. God, where are their armies? What are you doing? Now, I was planning on moving troops over, but, like, it doesn't seem like I need to. I've kind of defeated them already. Uh, and what do I need for my missions? I thought I saw you on the overground last Friday. On the last Friday? No, I wasn't on, I wasn't in the country. I don't think, Nev. Don't think. Was it? I was on the Saturday. I got back into the UK on the Saturday. That was the... Oh, wait. Last Friday. Sorry. Last Friday. Did you have an earpiss? No. Probably not me, then. Probably not. Maybe. <laughs> oi. Oi. Clear off. Gotcha. What's the plan, buddy old pal? Oh yeah, what do, I, what do I need for the mission? Okay, so recover Tunis. 
need quite a bit of territory. And I would get claim on Upper and Lower Andalusia. And that would be my first little jump into Spain. Gives me quite a bit. And once I get that, I get autonomy change for efficient integration, which is autonomy reduction, which is quite nice. And it basically just allows me to start taking apart Spain, uh, who aren't exactly that much of a problem, which is quite nice. And then I basically, the, the, the main benefit of that is that I can start... No, it's okay. I got this. 8th of October. I'm going to get there first, mate. What's the plan for the PDS stream? The PDS stream that I'm going to be a part of, um, the plan is to play E4. I have yet to think of a challenge. For those who are watching this series, um, I have probably, I mean, it's been, been been two days ago for you now, but I've been playing E4 for uh, on Paradox's stream, which is really nice of them. Christo has given me the Twitch account details, which is nice of him. Oh, bugger. Oi. Stop that. Oh no, we're going to win before that, before they can even get there. Ah, they're locked in. <laughs> As Yao and DuJour Ming. Oh, Jesus. Put it on Discord. Put suggestions on Discord. Right. Very easy wars. So, yes, what do I need? I need literally the entirety of the Chinesian area. Christ. I think I can stop building claims on the Commonwealth now. Right. I'll take that, 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 and that. That's what I need, right? And the coalitions are monstrous, but I don't think I care because no one can actually join them. It's going to 100% check. Yep, it's just those six. As Utrecht on France. Dear God, man. Yao Ming. Uh, that's pretty good. Take war reps too. Oh, come on. I'll take a little bit of cash. I wouldn't mind just piecing this out now. Uh, although, actually, it's 1556. When's the true step? With, so the, I still have to wait a few years. I kind of want to just let it go as long as possible. Though, remember, I. Because this is the thing, I don't really want to be fighting. Coalition looks like a standard set of allies. Yeah. It's fine. It's a big deal. The only thing is, I don't really want to be dealing with. Um, because I could try and attack Spain now. I could probably beat them. 100% Tunis. Lock them into truce as long as possible and move on to the Mamluks. That is probably a good idea, yeah. Actually, Spain's got 60,000 soldiers and more force limit than me. So they're actually a problem for me. That's actually an issue. So maybe we do need to try and 100% them. Yeah, let's 100% them. Well, war reps. I don't want to take anything that's not a claim because the eight, the monstrous AE, so... There we go. Cool. So it's not trade areas I can use. Brilliant. There we go. And we'll just uh, chase these down. Erky Perky, thanks so much for the follow, buddy. Welcome to the stream. Love to have you, my friend. Thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate you. All right. Border friction. Papal state will hate us. We lose diplo power or lose our claim on Roma. Are you mental? That's a permanent claim. I'll lose the Diplo power for that. Happily. Oh, another military one. Conscripted garrisons. By conscripting our able young men for our garrisons to ensure that we have enough men to defend our borders. And that's garrison size. And finally, we have to get land attrition and force limit modifier. Which is going to be pretty ridiculous for ensuring we have enough divisions to... Regiments, rather, to fight on all fronts. Trebizoid, Siege of Dara... Can I, can I peace out now? Almost. Oh, thank you for the follow, Salt Shakes. Not sure why I didn't get your notification, but I saw the other thing there. Unless you did, and I'm just blind. Uh, Byzantine, Byzantine response to the opinion of Naples. Hello, Maguritz. What's up, my friend? Bring them to justice. Fine. In terms of Portugal alliance, no, Portugal is actually allied to Spain, unfortunately. Yeah, it's quite unpleasant for me. There's the following notification. Thank you so much, Soul Shakes. Really do appreciate that. Oh, and look at that. We do have King William Tudor. And we have a Anglican Great Britain. That's very cool. Very cool indeed. And we do have a small revolt over there. I think we're going to need to go help our lovely vassal out with. Come on. Time to peace out. Ally France. Uh, no, they quite hate me. I'm not sure why. 
uh, because their opinion of me is bad, uh, they're hostile towards me, and I'm also allied to their rival, Austria. Now, I think I will need to try and improve relations with them later, because I am a bit concerned about the fact that I'm going to need to betray Austria-Hungary. In fact, I might do that after this war. Uh, I might actually just dissolve my alliance, because at this point, once I've beaten the Mamluks and Ramazan, I'm going to be so strong, there's not really a lot that anyone can do about me. So what I could do, right, what I could do is I could delete the Alliance of Austria-Hungary, because if you'll notice, I have a lot of... Oh, I thought I had claims. Oh, no, I don't have those claims yet. Um, I will have those claims, though, because I'll get the claims on this entire bloody area. Uh, and if I just... Then once I've conquered all of that territory, I would get claims on Croatia and Carnolia. And then once I have all of that territory, I kind of do want to start working my way in there. And then also, you know, get in Venice. And then we get the Eternal City. Which gives me claims on the rest of Italy. So I basically need to... I, now that I've gone up here, I now need to go this way. And then I can go this way. And then I can get the rest. And I would very much like to start kind of gobbling up Austria-Hungary. I am going to start facing a lot of coalitions. And to betray Austria-Hungary is going to suck enormously. Because Austria has about three quarters of my force limits. Hungary has another half of Gen. Combined... They do have 88, which is more than me. So I would actually be fighting very strong pe very strong people. I worry if I'm actually strong enough for that yet. Although I have a lot of manpower. I could probably have an entire other army. I probably could. The Russians are useful to do. Yeah, I definitely want to keep the Russians as my buddies. Uh, they're, they're fans of me. They like me. Obviously, a little aggressive expansion. So the thing is, maintaining this alliance with Austria-Hungary is actually really useful because it means they don't get 7 billion AE with me. Look, even with all that alliance, because all aggressive expansion is halved to allies, which is really nice. So maintaining them as an alliance is very helpful. Ah. All right. We just got to... Keep going. I think I want to keep the Alliance of Austria-Hungary for now. Because I want to chain against the Commonwealth. Which is at 69. So I'm going to go Mamluks, Ramans, and then I'm going to go Commonwealth again. And see if we can get Lithuania. Um, and by getting that, it's going to stop Austria-Hungary joining the coalition. Because I really do need to make sure they don't get too much AE. Because, you know, Austria-Hungary is a big boy. And once we've dismantled Commonwealth a bit... Uh, no, the Emperor is just always Austria. I have also joined... Which side am I on? Am I Catholic? Oh, Christ. I'm part of the Catholic League. Bugger. Yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably ditch Austria after Poland is completely done for. And then I will just ditch them and then start gobbling them up every other war as I push further east as well. Because I would quite like to try and hit into India. And I'll just take the rest of the Mamelukian territory. And it's already 1556, so we're, we need to kind of speed up a bit. I mean, I was kind of ostensibly going for a world conquest, but we'll see. So we're just going to peace out with these guys as soon as we are able. Also, I want to start annexing Valachia. It shouldn't really be that hard to do because I'm about, they're about to get a nice big bonus for protecting their lands. And Caraman has just got a little rebellion. It's all right. It's going to get that siege and then we'll go around. Oi! Stop that. Oh, they're churning out extra, extra troopy boys. Ah, that's alright, they're not necessary. I'll go up there instead. Yeah, there we go, defended our provinces! Woo! Okay. Uh, minus seven for that, so we need to get that siege and then beat one more army. Oh my god, again! Fine, we'll just lose Papal State as an ally. What? Oh no! I hope not. We don't lose them as an ally, I kinda need them. And there's Siege of Telemachan. Beautiful. So we get everything that we wanted. A um, bit, bit of large A there, but that's okay. Boom. Oh, that's so good. This gives Tunis a very long truce until 71. No chance of them joining against us. Fantastic. Our A's a bit high. We're going to be fighting a few rebels. It's all right. And you basically need to keep uh, aggressive expansion impact permanently on. 
Uh, in fact, we can actually do this one because we don't care about money. This one gives us missionary strength and institution embracement cost increase. That only increases the cost of embracement. I don't care about money. So, like, I'm so rich right now, it genuinely just doesn't matter. Why don't I have religious? I do have religious. We got really full of religious ideas. Then we have trade and quantity. Trade was simply so as to maintain the mass amount of money that we have, uh, of which we have plenty. We're going to go down here. We got some noble rebels. Our corruption is a bit high, though. We're going to work on getting that down. Yeah, no worries, Neff. No worries at all. The unity of faith. Oh, my God. That's an orthodox event. Boom. Stab three. That helps a lot. So there's, there's Tunis. Tunis was also the great enemy of the Romans Carthage, one of the westernmost ambitions in Africa, giving us claims onto Hispania. Oh, look at that. That's nice. That's real good. Does Portugal own that? That's weird. So I could get an alliance with Portugal right now. I don't really want an alliance with Portugal because I'm going to have to call in... Yeah, I have to call in Portugal to fight in Spain so I can take this entire chunk of territory. That'll be very interesting. But I won't do that for a while. Uh, next up, we're going to annex these guys. Uh, it's going to take 1612... Oh my god. Two per month. Oh no. I have to do it though, because I really need to start annexing him. I can start returning calls to him while I'm doing you know, while I'm doing the next war. Just take Jerusalem priest, get the extra missionary. Yeah, Jerusalem is it's on its way, but not not just yet though, because it's it's in Gaza, right? It's such a, it's a massive province. Oh Jesus, that's a lot. Let's just do it anyway. Oh, yeah, my overextension. Um, here's a question. I'm pretty sure I know the answer to this, but um, the overextension, like, when you, the annex vassal, that goes down, right? It does actually go down. When you annex, the cost of it goes up with overextension, right? So, it reduces our dip rep and our improved relations. Oh, yeah, I can still win this, definitely. 100%. Just check that. So. Uh, let me do some annexation. Blah, blah, blah. It'll be. A... Let's continue. He kills your dip rep, not so much your annexation cost. Eight per diplo. Christ. Oh, he's increased the hostile corporation cost. Oh my god. Right. Ah, there is a parliament thing for it. Cost of static unless you have integration modifiers. I might do that. There is a... Oh, my God. Since the cost of annexation can change, it may be worth by only buying once modifiers once the full annexation cost has nearly been paid. Especially the modifiers of policy. Consider a timing annexation so they finish in six months of one another. This is the events that giving we uh, postpone for like six months. Play account at this time of boy to hit depper. Okay. Cost of annexation. Okay. Ideas, ideas, bonuses, next division. Seize land until fifty live desire. I have to core it then though. Wouldn't it be better to just wait? I feel like they better just wait. God, look at that dev, though. God, the amount of liberty desire they get. I actually can't even do that. Christ. I don't know. What do you guys think I should do? I'm at war yet. We're not even at war anymore. I think dipper points are more expendable. They are quite expendable, to be honest. And I also, it's still gonna, it, it's fine. I'm just, I'm just gonna, just gonna keep it going for it for ages while it kind of slowly does its thing. Ba -ba -ba. Right, Naples integration over Valencia. I kind of do just want to keep. Uh, actually, it costs. 
exactly the same. I wouldn't mind being able to feed stuff to all this site because it's the cost is much more here. I really do want to be able to give it to Rome and stuff. Rod first. Hey, thanks for the follow, man. I really appreciate that. Naples are called friction with the Pope. Exactly. It's going to cause way too much friction with the Pope, and I keep him as my friend right now. Thank you very much for that follow, buddy. Really appreciate that. Uh, that's me at this episode, guys. Do be sure to leave a like and a comment on this video. Let me think of the series so far. I was Algernon. I continue to be, and this has been E4 Byzantium. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, bye bye.